Good morning, everybody. It is literally 5 a.m. and we are headed to Colorado for Forester Fest. We've got the Forester on the trailer, got my bags. We are ready to go. Check this out. Here we go. She's all on there. I'm gonna check all the straps real quick. I'm gonna throw my bags in the car first because I've got a whole bag full of merch and a whole bag full of my own stuff, so. It's time we head out. This is the rig. Let's go. First stop went well. We got more snacks. Let's keep going. We still got like five hours left. Thanks, Biden. We made it safe and sound. Time to unload. Wait, you want me to open it? You don't pull over right there. Not smart. Sick. So the bright ass purple. You can bring wait, bring it over here again. It's bright purple I just there. Like green? And bring it over here. Green? It's still purple on the camera. They gotta go to the shade. See and then it goes. Green. And it matches so perfect. It's like <laughs> there you it go. Is, yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oven mitt. <laughs> it's These are welding gloves. I know. It just looks like an oven mitt. When you're doing a turbo swap, why it's oh, I just drove an hour in the in the car. And spicy hot. <laughs> Yeah, I know it was a pain in the ass to get those on. Trust me, it sucks. Not me critiquing here while he does all the work. <laughs> all the black soot. Oh, that that's line. bad. It was literally leaking in every direction. Yep. And we should probably try to How's get my waistcoat look? Soot. Yeah, it looks so tight. Should probably check my welds on my outpipe, honestly. Hey, but check that out, old, old Granda Turbo. Bro, wait, wait, hold on. Bring it over here. I want to compare. Oh, I'm show comparison. Yeah. So this is the VF48 ported and polished by Richard Williams versus the Tomioka 3071. That's quite a big difference. <laughs> that is a massive difference. That's okay. She's a little guy. It's fine. She's a little guy. Little Boom. Guy. This is you. Versus the one that he t they tell you not to worry about. <laughs> so you have to... <laughs> oh 
So, uh, what do you use? Switch over fitting to oil feed. I gotta watch the uh, Oh my gosh. Damn. Oh! That is actually massive. That's fine. You just gotta get it in the oil drain. Is really the biggest thing. Holy <laughs> oh, that is big turbo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, boy. That's all in there. Big boy. Sick. You're on like a base base map still, aren't yeah, you? Yeah. yeah. That wasn't in like any boost really at all. Yeah. Your waste gate didn't even open. Here's an update on the big turbo swap. Uh, turbo's in, everything's on. We swapped out to black couplers because I had to go get a new blow valve. If you guys have been watching, I've been talking about how I have been assuming my HKS is leaking. And I had Shannon look at it and he was looking at the snap ring in here and he was telling me that there is no way that is seated all the way and it won't go down anymore. It's that's a knockoff HKS, so it's kind of what happens with those. So we went and got a new blow-up valve that's actually meant for a front mount. Got that on there. And while I was at the same place, I bought all the black couplers. So that way it's not all gross blue couplers up here anymore. And I also got a 30-degree a coupler so that this fits way better. But we did have an oil leak when we started the car. So now I'm going to get back into that. It's either the oil drain or the braided feed line off the back of the head. So I'm going to go check both those. I'm looking at turbo drain. Come on, come on camera. Back clamps on, back clamps on. Yeah, that one needs a clamp on it. We need a better clamp on the bottom. The top, I think we're good. That needs a better clamp on it. She's running. I'm lying to you guys because I actually already drove the car and the thing's fast. So we're gonna go drive it real quick. Everything looks great. It's gonna need to retune to make like all the power, but with where it's at now, it's making 22 PSI again. It's, all the air fuels look good. Everything looks good in the tune. We're gonna get it retuned though. But let's go for a rip. done though big turbo again that's a tomioka 3071 and right now we actually just have the vacuum line for the compressor side of the turbo just straight to the wastegate <laughs> idiot and we also i think my mac i think my three port boost controller is bad because we just have a line straight from the compressor side to the wastegate because we couldn't get any boost stuff what was it making more than like 17 psi with the boost controller hooked up and we switched around only made like 10 psi at one point and then when we went straight from compressor to just the wastegate it's actually making like 22 psi when you get up to third and fourth gear so we think that the boost controller is bad but everything's running good enough now that we're going to leave it like that i'm going to order a new boost controller and call it good after that you might have noticed in that pole though that the wastegate really isn't opening that much there's a few little things here and there definitely faster than it was before 
and it's not even retuned yet. As soon as it's retuned, it'll be even faster than that. So I'm excited. Anyways, guys, that's where we're gonna end this video. I love you all. Peace out.